Guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Din and I'm going to show you how to prepare your ingredients, mix the spices and then cook the dish. Very simple method I'm going to use, so please follow the instructions carefully. So let's cook. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Chef Din and as you can see we are really busy here trying to get everything ready before we start cooking our curries. I've already now finished my sixth episode showing how to cook the base gravy as you can see here. Uh, uh, this method of cooking base uh, probably doesn't exist anymore because uh, chefs nowadays want to cook everything quick uh, and therefore losing that flavour. I'm also adding stock to the gravy because it's very important the gravy is full of flavour because this is your main ingredient and then we're going to just put everything together which I will show you uh, when we start to cook our individual curries. Now we have I have a lot of curries uh, to show you how to cook so uh, watch all the videos and also watch it right through please don't skip it because you miss uh, what I'm doing. I'm going to basically uh, show you in the video how to cook it in real time. Uh, you should have it all ready like this and then we'll be able to uh, start and uh, you will have to watch, learn and listen basically. And that way you learn how to cook uh, bendy bhaji here. We've got Bombay potato, we've got mushroom bhaji, we have sagalu uh, and brenjal bhaji and uh, meat dukiaza so and masala of course this is only but a few of the curries i'm going to show you so let's get cooking hi everyone welcome back to my channel in a hot saucepan or frying pan uh, put in a spoon of uh, oil as you can see and then uh, add a little bit of garlic that's about half a teaspoon of garlic we're putting in here give that a little bit of a stir and then in this we're going to put some green peppers you may know it as uh, capsicum so uh, have this ready as well so give this a little bit of stir for a few seconds and then we're going to add our uh, do, chopped dupiaza onions. Now you'll find all the recipes uh, for this in the pre-cut videos so you need to basically watch all those first before you can start to cook this way. So once you've uh, put that in give that a good stir and that's about a chef spoon, good chef spoon of uh, onions. In this goes uh, about a teaspoon of mixed spice and so about a teaspoon of meti. So give that a little bit of stir. See, this method of cooking is very simple. Uh, we've uh, perfected it over the years that we've been cooking in the restaurant. We've added our meat, but you uh, could add chicken to this or uh, vegetables or even prawns. So it's entirely up to you. But the method of cooking a dupiazza is basically the same. So we'll give this a good stir and then we're going to add our base gravy. Now the base gravy and all my pre-cooked items ha are full of flavour. So all we are doing basically is putting all those flavours together and creating a lovely tasting dish. So I'm putting a bit of red chilli but it's entirely up to you. If you like it a little bit hotter you can or you can just leave it without the chilli. So, Give that a good stir and we're going to let this cook gently out. This dish will take approximately about seven and a half minutes to uh, cook. It's, uh, once you've uh, got it to this stage, all you're doing is basically cooking it out, uh, which will take uh, another, say, five minutes or so. So uh, just give it a stir every now and again. Make sure it doesn't stick on the sides because my uh, method of cooking is completely different from uh, probably what you've seen uh, on YouTube or anywhere because we've been perfecting uh, our style of cooking to make it very quick and easy. Because sometimes uh, in the kitchens we have to cook like 
10 curries at the same time. So we're constantly uh, changing the frying pans over and uh, there's chefs just taking the curries off uh, because sometimes it can get very busy and we haven't got uh, that much time to be sitting on each curry. We put, basically put it all together. I've just put in about a good uh, pinch of uh, fresh coriander here. So in a busy environment, we haven't got much time to uh, watch over each curry. So we just let it cook this way and let it cook in well so that it just brings all those flavors together. Anyway, if you haven't uh, subscribed uh, to this channel, subscribe and hit the notification because we've got a lot of curries coming out and I wouldn't like you to miss out on those uh, and you'll basically see uh, how all the curries are cooked in uh, my house style basically. If the gravy is a bit too thick, just add uh, a little bit of water, but it mustn't be too uh, thin. Uh, basically, as you can see, this is fine thickness because once you let that all cook uh, for about five minutes, it will all uh, kind of be nice thick sauce. But just turn it around like I'm doing here, just to make sure that it doesn't stick or burn. Now to cook this way, you all need to watch uh, one to seven uh, videos, my episodes, which will show all the preparation of the base gravy, the onions, the meat, uh, the chicken, how to get the mixed spices together, how to cook the tomato puree, uh, and just basically everything you need uh, before you can start to cook these curries. Because once you start cooking, they're very quick, but the prep, unfortunately, does take time. But if you're not uh, want to do all that prep, then uh, I have one pot curries uh, where you can cook for four people in one pot, which only takes about an hour and a half or so. So you get a really delicious curry uh, in one pot, uh, be it chicken kurma or chicken tikka masala or so on. So anyway, this is my uh, meat du piazza. And just before we serve, we're going to just put the gas up a little bit because there's oil in there and I don't want that in the dish. So we just push it through like this and let that oil come to the surface. And if you just tilt it a little bit before you serve it, the oil will go down to the bottom of the frying pan. Anyway, this is my meat du piazza. Enjoy and uh, bye for now. Mm -hmm.